Let's return to the decomposition of ozone to see how the pseudo steady state approximation helps us to develop a rate equation. So the reaction proceeds by the following sequence of elementary steps. So a chlorine atom reacts with ozone to form ClO and O2 with the reaction rate constant K1. And then this ClO reacts with an oxygen atom to form O2 and rege regenerate our chlorine. So the overall reaction is the decomposition of ozone uh, in the presence of oxygen atoms to form 2O2. And so the chlorine uh, does not appear in the overall reaction. So the rate of production or consumption on each species we can write. So D ozone dt, we can simply write as minus K1 times the concentration of chlorine times the concentration of ozone, as we said that these reactions are elementary as written. We can similarly do a balance on ClO, and so it's produced by our first reaction. So its rate of formation is going to be positive K1 times the concentration of chlorine times the concentration of ozone. And it's consumed by our second reaction. So it's going to depend on the for, uh, rate constant K2 for that reaction times the concentration of ClO times the concentration of O. Finally, we'll have a balance for O2. And so this will it's produced by both reactions. So both of our rate terms here are going to be positive. So here we can apply the pseudo steady state approximation on ClO. So we're assuming that this is a reactive intermediate uh, that gets uh, consumed quickly once it's formed. And so we can say that the derivative of concentration of ClO with respect to time is approximately equal to zero. So this is our pseudo steady state approximation on our reactive intermediate ClO. So since we can write that this equation is now equal to zero, we can solve for the concentration of ClO. So essentially we can write K1 times concentration of chlorine times that of ozone is equal to K2 times the concentration of ClO times O. So here we're going to solve for ClO to get this expression. K1 times the concentration of chlorine times that of ozone divided by K2 times the concentration of oxygen atoms. We can also notice that the total amount of chlorine is going to be um, constant if we account for chlorine in all of its different forms. So we can say that the total concentration of chlorine, which we'll call Cl0, is equal to how much chlorine exists as chlorine atoms plus how much chlorine exists as ClO. And so this is because uh, chlorine is not uh, consumed or generated in this reaction. So I'll note here that this Cl0 is a measurable uh, quantity, so we can uh, keep track of this, whereas it's more difficult to keep track of our concentrations of chlorine atoms and ClO. So we want to leave our rate expression in terms of uh, this Cl0. Okay, so we can recast the concentration of ClO here uh, as a function of that uh, total chlorine content. So this will be equal to K1 times our concentration of ozone divided by K2 times the concentration of oxygen. And then we'll replace uh, this concentration of chlorine as the total concentration of chlorine minus that of ClO. And so then we can further rearrange this expression uh, to solve for the concentration of ClO all in terms of measurable quantities, uh, since now we have it uh, on both sides of the equation. So once we do this, 
get that the concentration of CLO, all in terms of measurable quantities, is uh, K1 times the total chlorine content times the concentration of ozone divided by K2 times the concentration of oxygen atoms plus K1 times the concentration of ozone. So now we have the concentration of CLO in terms of measurable quantities. So we can use this to plug into our uh, rate equations to get an overall rate expression in terms of all measurable uh, quantities. So the rate of ozone decomposition, we can write as the negative of the derivative of the concentration of ozone with respect to time. And so this is gonna be equal to K1 times the concentration of chlorine atoms times the concentration of ozone. So from our pseudo steady state approximation on CLO, we wrote previously that K1 times Cl times O3, so the forward reaction rate for our first reaction was equal to the rate of the reaction that consumed uh, CLO. So that was K2 times CLO times O. So we can reuse this relationship to replace some of the terms in our rate expression here. So we can write that the rate of ozone decomposition is equal to, so we could write it as K1 times Cl times O3, but we can also write this as K2 times ClO times O. And so now we have our uh, expression for ClO, all in terms of measurable quantities. So we can insert that here. So we can write that the rate of ozone decomposition is going to be, so we'll call this the rate of reaction of interest, will be K1 times K2 times the total chlorine content, Cl0, times the concentration of both oxygen atoms and ozone, divided by K2 times O plus K1 times ozone. Okay, so this is what we're in general looking for. We have now a expression that relates the rate of reaction, in this case ozone decomposition, to rate constants and measurable concentrations or partial pressures. And we did this uh, starting from a series of elementary steps or reaction mechanism. And again, the pseudo steady state approximation uh, made this a much more tractable problem.